Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kamitran. Today we're going to make these fun and simple, easy snowflake watercolor Christmas cards. Okay, so let's get started. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton watercolor paper. Um, I believe this is I don't know, six by four or whatever. It doesn't matter what size it is. You can make it any size you want. Um, I'm going to start, you know, you're going to fold this in half as a card, or you can just do this one piece. You want to cut it out and put it on cardstock. I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to unfold it like so. And I'm going to put a piece of tape going across, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> um, the top half here. I'm using Scotch Magic Tape, but I'm, but I put it on my clothes first and then put it down so that you see the threads here, so it's not so sticky. But it holds it better than um, washi tape. And we're just going to be painting this side. And I'm just going to be using one color. I'm going to be using indigo and in various watered down forms. So we're going to start. If you want to pencil it out just to get an idea where it's going to go, you can start it here. You can make it just little crisscross pencil lines just to get an idea of the section of part of the snowflake you want to have. Just crisscross it. it. Gives you a guide. It helps you. And generally speaking, brush sizes, it depends on how you hold the brush or you can handle a brush. You can use a thicker brush, a small brush, a skinnier brush, whatever works for you. Um, I find when you use the smaller brushes like this, it takes longer. Um, and that's for more detailed stuff. You can use a brush even this big, as long as there's a nice point to the end of it. This one is a Grumbacher number 10. I'll try it with that one first. If I don't like the way it's feeling, I'll switch. So I'm going to get a fairly good of watered down amount of the paint on my brush, dab it on my paper towel. And I'm going to start by making a little circle here. And I'm going to build out. I'm going to build out little triangles from that. Well, I'm sorry, diamonds. Just little diamonds. If you can doodle a diamond, you can paint a diamond. Look at that. Follow the guide of your pencil mark. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just like snowflakes, because they're not perfect. Every snowflake is unique, just like every person in the world. And then from there, you can just build out, lines out, go like this. And you can water it down towards the end. You can go, whoops, a little dark ball. And the lines, like so. And pull it down again. Play around with it. I might pull this out a little longer. get the idea. And put another one here, another one here. Now I'm thinking that my indigo might be too dark. So I might go in and grab more of a medium blue. Mix it with it. It's looking a too blackish. Combination of indigo and maybe ultramarine mixed together. Water that down. I'm going to do another one that's fairly watered down, so it's very pale. I'll start over here, crisscross. Crisscross applesauce. I'm going to do a little dot. And you just go in and do some lines. And you're basically making snowflakes on the edges. A 
of your card. Again, you can grab this. If you can do lines, you can make snowflakes. This is not that bright. I'm playing around with the lighting. The lighting is just really annoying me today. And then, then you can just play around with the actual snowflakes and the lines themselves. Like I said, you can do a line in the middle like this. These are fairly easy to do. Add another one. We had our first snow, I think a few days ago. Seems like eternity now, but it was just recently. I like it around Christmas and then I don't like it anymore. And unfortunately we're in an area that we get blizzards. <laughs> so now I'm really gonna water this down. Gonna make some snowflakes. They're really big. And hopefully they bleed. It's a little too. I'll make this one really light. Better. Little lines coming from it. And then I have a pale one over here too. Very pale. So you're basically taking a lot of the paint off your brush or watering down the paint. It's not cooperating. This is real time painting, folks. Still a little too dark, so I'm gonna get some more water on there. This particular type of paper really soaks it in, so it will end up drying a lot lighter than what you see when you're painting it, which in this case is a good thing. Just painting these snowflakes is almost like meditation. This is fairly light. You could go like this, connect the lines like that, and fill it in, and go back over that as it dries if you want. Because every snowflake is different. But you're getting the idea. This one's similar to the first one. But adding some nuances to it. Connecting it like a spider web. Oops. And then lines making it quite different than the rest of them. And put a nice faded one over here. Just bleeding out to the edge. Can have another one crisscross on top of those when that's dry. This is when you might want to use the little brush. Now you can take the little brush and go in and make little smaller ones. Baby snowflakes. <laughs> Like 
so if you want to make the center add a little darkness in there or just the ends just to give it a variety Same thing with the one I was just doing. So you can go in here and put little, well, that bled, but on this one you can because it dried. Make it a little more delicate. Add some special touches to it. You could even add silver or gold to it. Well, since that one bled, I'm going to have to fix that now, am I? So you get the gist. I'm going to stop here and keep painting and do a time lapse so it's faster so I don't bore you with it and come back. Okay, after that's done, you can leave it like this, or I'm gonna put a piece of paper just over here. You can grab a toothbrush or a bristle, like acrylic type brush. Take some watered watercolor and blue. Or you could do silver, actually. Silver can be pretty. Water it down. Just make a little Splatter, snow. Maybe that's a little too dark, so I might want to water that down. Get a lighter blue. Just a pretty and light blue. Splatter the edges. All around. You don't have to do that. I think it's just kind of fun. Okay, finish that one, remove that. Cause you'll ruin the other side of that. And you'll take off the tape. And you'll let this one dry. And then you can write anything you want in here. You can write, let it snow, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. For the second card, I'm gonna flip over my cardboard because I don't want to get it wet. We are going to tape down, this is a small card, this is a little teeny card. We are going to tape this down, probably right here again, the same thing. But I want it facing this way because I'm going to be working this way. I'm going to be doing the wet on wet technique again. So I'm going to get a bigger brush, which is this Princeton 12. I'm going to wet this paper. Oh, that's coming up. I'm going to have to just put that down more. It's being very feisty like a two-year-old. Okay. I'm gonna wet this down. We're gonna grab our indigo very loosely wet. We're gonna let it bleed. I'm gonna grab some ultramarine. I'm gonna grab some more ultramarine. Gonna grab a pale blue. I'm 
going to keep playing around with this. So it gets the color that you're looking for. Kind of night sky. However dark you want it, however light you want it. Play around with that. And this is going to have to let this dry. You can take some paint away if you don't like it so dark like that. Use your brush like a mop. You're dabbing back on the paper towel. If you want to just have one section, it seems more darker than the other. Look in the corner. Over here. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. In fact, it's better if it doesn't, because then it's unique, uniquely yours. Just giving you an idea what to do. It seemed like the whole color turned in to go, didn't it? Hmm. Let's go put some, see if we can take some paint out and put some paint in. Take this color off. And you know what? It doesn't matter if it is all indigo. If you only have one color paint, then that's what you use. Let me get that pale blue in here somehow. Let that bleed over here. Okay, so we're going to let this dry and come back to it. Okay, we're back. So now we're going to take gouache. Gouache is opaque watercolor. It's fabulous. You can water it down, make it a little translucent, but the, what the use of this today is opaque because we're going to do white snowflakes. And this is the fun. Again, it's just like doodling, only with a skinny paintbrush. have fun with this. I mean I'm sure you've doodled snowflakes in your in your time, maybe in school, when you're bored in class. You should be able to do this. So we're gonna sporadically put snowflakes oh Louver. You might want to keep this section without the snowflakes. We're just placing. Now, see if it wasn't wash and use white watercolor, it's just going to, you're not going to see it. The gouache you can see. So I'm going to fast forward this and then come towards the middle part. Okay, so I got a bunch of snowflakes. Now we're gonna go back in with our gouache and just make little dots. You could do the splatter thing, but I think it's a little messy. This is gonna be more strategic. Bigger ones, little ones, more galaxy type situation. 
if you splatter it, it's, it will have kind of a similar effect, just not as nice, not as elegant as I would say. Now, another thing I wanted to mention is that if you didn't, if you feel like you can't make a skinny, um, a line with the, let's grab this thing to show you, with the white gouache, you can get gel pens. Um, this is a silver one. You can get white ones, you can get them anywhere, like Target, Walmart, any store. Get a white gel pen. And you can draw the snowflakes. The paper would have to be not as toothy as this one, but you can still do it. And it would be less, probably less of a pain. And maybe some bigger ones. But you get the idea. It's like a snowflake galaxy. So I had to tape down the edges too after I dried it because it was curling. Gonna remove the tape. Look at that. Bend this back. And look how cute that is. And like I said, you can write something in here. You don't have to write something in here. You can you know, look at this way too. And here's the first one. I think I'll write peace in that one, even though it's snow. I like that word. I'm going to use my paintbrush. There you have it. Tutorial on Christmas card number two. This one's a blue. <laughs> you can have a blue Christmas. So if you like this tutorial, please share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Just helps my channel grow, which I appreciate. And I thank you so much for all your comments. Um, I'm really enjoying everything that you're enjoying. And so thanks for stopping by and have a great day.